Here's everything you need to know about direct current, DC electricity for level two physics. Let's start off with current. So we've already seen Mike Wazowski before, and so we defined him as a coulomb, so as a measure of charge. And so what is current? Well, it's a number of Mike Wazowski, it's a number of coulombs of charge uh, that pass a point in a given amount of time. So it's the rate of flow of charge. And so uh, the formula for current is I, uh, which is measured in amps or amperes, being Q, charge, uh, divided by the amount of time it takes. And so if there's one coulomb, one mic passing a point every second, then that would be how we'd define one ampere. If there was two mics, uh, it's such in this example here, two coulomb of charge pass through a bulb every second. How much current is this? Well, it's Q is two, T is one, so we're getting two um, amperes. Now, we're going to talk about Mike having chocolate bars. And so those chocolate bars are actually going to become jewels of energy. And he's going to be walking around with these jewels of energy. And we're going to see if we can unpack that some more. So we're going to be looking at this idea of voltage. So voltage is sometimes called potential difference or EMF, electromotive force, is always measured between two points. It's a measure of how much or the amount of energy a charge is gaining or losing as it travels around the circuit. And so this is the equation for voltage. Uh, by definition, voltage is the amount of energy uh, per coulomb of charge. And so we define one volt to be one joule of energy carried by one coulomb of charge. And so uh, if Mike Wazowski's got one chocolate bar, he's got one joule of energy per one Mike Wazowski per one coulomb, that's one volt. If he's got two chocolate bars, two joules of energy, two divided by one gives you two volts, three volts, four volts. We kind of get the idea. Now, sometimes those ideas for current voltage and resistance are actually a little bit confusing. And so we have a bit of analogy. They're a bit abstract. And so if we think about electricity like water flowing down a river or flowing through a pipe, we can think of current as the substance that's actually flowing. And so in the video, we're seeing water flowing down the river. And so we're seeing that substance moving, which is water. And electricity, we call that substance um, electrons. And then we'll, we'll talk about this idea of voltage. Well, what's voltage? It's the, the difference in energy between two places. It's always measured between two places. And so that's the kind of the force that's, or that's pushing that substance down. And so we'd call that in this case, it would be gravity, but an electricity would call that a voltage or a potential difference. Now, what's resistance? Well, resistance is the thing that impedes or slows or resists uh, that flow. And so in this case, it would be the rocks in the river. That'd be the more rocks, the more uh, the river is impeded. The more resistance in a circuit, the more the current is impeded. And so we can think of it like as in a pipe. So here in this picture on the left, I've got a large potential difference in here, not such a large potential difference. So a large voltage on the left and not such a large one on the right. This next picture, they've both got the same potential difference. But this one's got a fat pipe and this one's got a skinny pipe. And so this one has a low resistance. And so we're getting lots of current flowing. But here it's got a high resistance. And so it impedes the flow or resists the flow. Uh, here we've got the same idea with, with numbers on it. So one volt, both the same, small, um, large, Smaller resistance, sorry, smaller resistance, one ohm, larger resistance, two ohms, lots of current, not very much current. Um, this is another way of looking at it. So uh, you can think about like a battery in a circuit. It's kind of like being a pump. It's pumping, the, it's giving energy to those charges so they have a lot of potential. And then they come around and when they go for a resistor, uh, they're giving that energy back. And so they're getting an increase in energy and a decrease in energy as those charged particles, those Mike Wazowski's coulombs of charge move around uh, the circuit. So what really is this resistance? It is the measure of the opposition to current. So a high resistance means electrons move slowly through the wire. They kind of get a little bit, um, yeah, they move slowly. Low resistance means they can move more quickly, so they can zoom through. And the link between uh, current voltage and resistance is Ohm's law, uh, where resistance is equal to the voltage across a component and the current divided by the current going through that component. And we're going to spend quite a bit of time, a lot of level two is based around um, Ohm's law. Uh, if voltage isn't really making a whole bunch of sense, there's a lovely little um, video here that you can click on and they go through a whole bunch of different circuits with this going up and going down, uh, talking about switches and uh, that's quite helpful. Uh, this next video here, although it's a little bit old, is probably pedagogically the clearest video I've been able to find, really been able to go back over these ideas of current voltage and resistance. So feel free to click on these and then come back and hear the rest of what I've got to say. So we'll try and put all this together. Uh, we've got Mike Wazowski with three chocolate bars, and so tell yourself uh, how, how many volts is here. So hopefully you've said it's three, so he's got three joules of energy per coulomb, and so we'll call him three volts. He's traveling through a wire, or the electrons, or charged particles uh, traveling, and so the amount of charge passing through a point per second is what we define as current. We'll get to a light bulb, and a light bulb is a resistor. Yep, so it has resistance, and that opposes the flow of current. And now Mike Wazowski, in this case, has no chocolate bars left. And so 
uh, if we were to measure the voltage between two places, uh, it would measure like this, um, where an ammeter would measure in series, it would be stuck in here, so you could count the number of charged particles. Mark Kozowski is moving through it, we measure voltage across something. Now he has three volts on the side and zero volts, and so there's a difference of voltage of three volts. And so the amount of energy being converted per charge is what would define as voltage. And so the light bulb is getting uh, three volts. And so we often look at this idea called power, and power is the rate at which energy is transferred. And so power is energy divided by time. And so if something's using more energy in the same amount of time, then it's, more, it's using more power. So a high power light bulb uh, uses more energy per second than a lower power light bulb. And you'd, you'd be familiar with that, that a high power light bulb is really bright because it's using lots of energy per second, where a low power light bulb isn't so bright. <clears throat> and so the equation on your formula sheet is P equals IV. However, uh, you can rearrange that by combining it with Ohm's law, V equals IR, and you get these two other equations, which aren't given, but are very helpful, and you'll need to know how to derive them. Uh, so we've seen the two equations for voltage and for current, and so if we look at this, voltage is energy per coulomb. Mike Wazowski has got three joules of energy per coulomb, so there's three volts. Uh, there's one of him passing per second, and so there's one coulomb per second, and so there's one ampere. So if we were to look at what how much power he has, power is current times voltage, and so um, one ampere times three volts means there's three watts um, of power being transferred, and so that the amount of energy which is being transferred to the light bulb every second is three joules of energy per second. Uh, the unit for power is watt. I love to make that joke. Watt is the unit for power, W-A-T-T, -T, rather than W-H-A-T. <laughs> Moving on. Um, electrical power versus energy. Uh, so power is the rate at which energy is transferred, and so power is measured in watts. Uh, so in the previous example, it was uh, three watts. Um, of energy, three watts were being transferred every second, and so how much energy? Well, if it was in one second, it would have been three joules. If it was in a minute, 60 seconds, three times um, 60 would give you 180 joules of energy would be used in a minute, and then we often measure in household appliances in terms of kilowatt hours would be what we typically kind of measure. Um, if you haven't done the FET virtual activity yet, um, please have a go. Uh, that's a really important activity. So essentially we go through series circuits and then we go through parallel circuits and then we go through combination circuits. Uh, and so you need to really understand what's the difference between a series and a parallel. How does current flow in each of those? How does voltage kind of work in each of those so that you can do the combination circuits? So the combination circuits are almost always the same in all the level two exams, but you have to do the groundwork to get there. I know for some of you are like, oh, I, I, I get these ideas of current and voltage. I was going to get the last question. I'd encourage you to actually do the hard yards and work through this activity. I think it's really valuable. There's a lot of effort being put into the progression of those ideas. And so if you haven't done that, uh, go have a look at that. There's a link in the description below. Uh, let's go over series and parallel. So these are the answers to uh, what that exploratory activity through the FET simulator is. And so on the left-hand side, we have a series circuit. And on the right-hand side, we have a parallel circuit. So you see, if Mike Wazowski comes out here, you're measuring the amps that go through. So you're measuring how many coulombs of charge pass through. And you have to go through these each of these components, each of these light bulbs, and come back. We're here, uh, the charge, Mike Wazowski has to make a choice at this kind of point here. Does he go through this one, or does he go down? And so uh, they behave differently. Here, the bulbs are going to be dimmer, so they're going to share the voltage. So voltage across this light bulb plus the voltage across this light bulb will equal supply, where the voltage in parallel will equal this voltage, will equal this voltage, which will equal supply voltage. And the current here coming out of this supply will be bigger than the um, well, the current through the top bulb plus the current through the bottom bulb will equal the current by the supply. And so the current and voltage do different things. So current is the same and voltage is different in a series and current is different and voltage is the same in a parallel. Um, so here is a lovely kind of example of a series circuit. You've got a resistor 1, a resistor 2, a resistor 3, and that's equivalent to one total resistance using this formula R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4 plus however many resistances. If there's only two, it's just R1 plus R2, where Parallel is a little bit more confusing. The current has multiple different paths to go through, but we can again convert a single or multiple resistances into a single resistance, and we use this formula here: one over R1 plus one over R2 plus however many there are, and then to the power of minus one. Most people miss that, and that's a really important part of that. Uh, so here is a kind of summary of everything we've done in terms of voltage and current. So we've defined um, current and voltage in these ways, uh, and we measure them in series for current and parallel for voltage and they stay the same and they yeah so if, if that's helpful pause the video and have a look at that 
Uh, to finish with, we're going to do an example. Uh, so can you find the total resistance? And so we've got, this is a typical exam question. This is a 2010 exam. You, the current has to go through the free ohm resistor and then it gets to split between the top branch and the bottom branch. So how do I find the total resistance? Well, these, the two and the four ohm are in series. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to redraw it like this. So it's got a three ohm and then a two plus four makes six. And then I've got a six and a five. And the six and the five are in parallel. And then I have to add it in series. And so I'm going to go one over six uh, plus 1 over 5 and 1 over that answer. So that's the total resistance of this branch here And then I'm going to add the 3 ohm on and so this is a very common question uh, Doing the FedEx exercise and then the questions that are at the end of that will lead you to do heaps of these kind of questions uh, Find the current through the 3 ohm resistor Well the current through the 3 ohm resistor is the total current coming out of the power supply And so I know the total voltage from the power supply is 12 volts I know the total resistance is 5.7 and so I can just use ohms law um, I equals V over R, and I can get 2.1 amperes. Now explain which bulb is the brightest. Whenever they're talking about brightest, they're talking about power. Which one is using the most power? P equals IV. And so the brightest bulb means which one's getting the most power. And you see that I'm using the P equals I squared R, which isn't given to you in your full machine. So knowing those two other equations is helpful. Uh, the free ohm gets, um, sorry, the free ohm bulb as it gets the most current. So all the current flows through that free ohm resistor. And so it's getting the most power at 13.2 watts. So any description question, uh, you're trying to make links. If I change this, then this happens, and this is the equation. Uh, so this is a summary of the whole of uh, DC. So this is uh, a third of the level two physics um, electricity exam. I hope this is helpful. Feel free to go back and re-watch anything that's not. Uh, post any questions uh, in the comments below.